Shalom, friends. I hope you all are doing well. I just wanted to share a few thoughts with you as we're in a very important season, a very important time on the Hebrew calendar. We are in the month of dreams. This is the month of dreams on the Hebrew calendar. And I am so excited to take a moment to be able to share about this with you. We're in the Hebrew month of Kislev. And nine out of the 10 major dreams that are recorded in the Torah are read during this month of Kislev. And we're getting ready to read of one of the most important dreamers in the entire scripture, that is Joseph. So Joseph was an epic dreamer. And like Joseph, if we're going to live an epic life, God wants all of us to learn to dream with him. And during this Hebrew month of Kislev, this is the time to really dream and to really be conscious of the dreams that God gives to us. Joseph's entire life was changed by a God dream. It was the dreams that he had that got him into trouble, into the pits, into the prisons, but it was the interpretation of dreams that got him from prison to the palace. And so many times we stop dreaming. We stop taking our dreams seriously because we have been hurt and because of the pain and the hope deferred, we give up on our dreams. It becomes too painful to dream but the only people that do not dream are dead people. So if you are alive, you need to be a dreamer. Dreams, God dreams are those uh, that are given by the Lord that really helps us to know our purpose and our destiny and what we're supposed to be doing with our life. So in this Hebrew month of Kislev, nine of the 10 dreams found in the Torah are read. And so we need to dream with God in this season and understand that dreams contain our purpose and our destiny. The only people that don't dream are dead people. So we have to learn to dream with him. And the reality is, is that if we have dreams, there are going to be people that mock our dreams. Joseph's brother said, hey, here comes the dreamers. Dreamer, they laughed at his dreams. They try and kill, they try to kill the dreams that God had given him. But a God dream can never be destroyed because a God dream will always come to pass. And if you have a God dream, it should you should understand that you're gonna have to have face problems, that you're gonna have to face pits, that you're gonna have to face prisons in your life. But that is part of the process that prepares you for the promise to be fulfilled in your life. This is true of Joseph, and it's gonna be true of you and I. So I wanna encourage you in this season, dare to dream. Judah the Maccabee, the story of Hanukkah, he dared to dream that he could free the people of Israel who were being oppressed and their faith was being outlawed. He believed that God could use him to do what nobody thought could ever be done he had the faith to fight. He had the dream that Israel could be a free nation, that the many could overcome and be the many, could, the few could overcome the many. And so I want to encourage you in this season to dream with him, to not be scared of the pits and the prisons and the problems that you'll face as you go after your dreams, but to trust him in the midst of it. In this month of dreams, this month of Kislev, this month that we see miracles happening. I personally have had more dreams in this month than I have had in a while. So I want to encourage you. God wants to give you dreams about your future. He wants you to know what it is that you're supposed to do. I see my buddy, Ashraf, good to see you, brother. Uh, Andrew, good to see you. Alan, good to see you. Talking about this month on the Hebrew calendar. We're reading in the Torah portion about the life of Joseph and understanding that Joseph was a dreamer. To live an epic life, you have to be willing to dream. This is a time to dream. This is a time to dare to dream. This is a time to go from your to, to go after your dreams. 
Don't let past disappointments, past discouragements rob you of your ability and desire to, to dream. It's so, so significant. And every one of you are called to be Joseph's in this season. You're called to dream with him and to believe and expect great things uh, from the Lord. And to understand that a God dream should put the fear of God in you. Because when, when a dream comes from the Lord, it is way too big for you ever to fulfill in your own natural strength and ability. Listen, if you have the ability to fulfill your dreams in your own might, it's not from the Lord because he's always going to call you to do things that you don't have the natural abilities and giftings to do on your own. It teaches you through those God dreams to completely depend on him. So I just wanted to share that thought with you as, as we read in this week's Torah portion by Yeshev about Joseph and the dreams that he had. And I just want to encourage you this week that in this season, God wants to breathe new life into your dreams. Some of you, you've let your dreams die, but God is breathing new life into your dreams. And I just want to say, pray for you right now and declare you are going to dream again, that you are going to have new life, that he is going to breathe into your dreams. In the name of Yeshua, I say, Melech Ozer Umashiach um again. He is your king. He is your helper. He is your shield. And he is with you in this time and season. And I just want to encourage you that just like Joseph dreamed, he was thrown into the pits and prisons. He was placed in Potiphar's house and Potiphar's wife tried to seduce Joseph. That picture of, of Potiphar's wife trying to seduce Joseph is, is those people in your life that will try and get you to compromise your dreams. She wanted Joseph to take a shortcut. She wanted Joseph to seduce Joseph. He would have compromised the call and the dreams on his life if he would have lay with her. So friends, don't beware of the people and the influence that will cause you to compromise those dreams. Know that God has a unique dream for your life and to pursue those dreams passionately know that God will give you the power even against the odd when there is a vision and a calling and a dream that comes from him you will overcome it against all odds so I just want to encourage you in that really just pray that God would show you what his dream for your life is and I just pray this over you right now sim shalom that he should establish his peace mercy, goodness, and kindness over you. And just like they said of Joseph, they can say, hey, here comes the dreamer. That is who you are in him. I just speak that blessing over you now in the name of Yeshua, our Messiah. Shalom, shalom, and God bless.